All right, welcome back. After his house was set on fire, hear what Sunday Igbo said that got people talking. All right, the news in details. After his house was set on fire, he has spoken on the issue. All right, one of the houses of the Yoruba activist and freedom fighter Sunday Adeyemo was gutted by fire in the early hour of Tuesday. The house which located at his Osaka resident in Ibadan was raised by unknown thugs. Meanwhile, Vanguard newspaper reported that the horrible incident occurred few minutes after electricity was taken off at the area. Fortunately, no one got injured. All right, and as it is before the arrival of fire service, fire has already engulfed major parts of the house. The, this is an incident, and uh, this incident occurred few days after house and cars owned by Serike Fulani of Oyo, Igaga community in Ibarapa North local government area of Oyo state was burnt by suspected hoodlums. All right, as reported by Twitter page known as People's Gazette, Sunday Igbo said he will not blame Fulani Edas on attacking his house located in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. All right, and then according to what he has said, so if I said, I can't blame Fulani for burning down my house. Sunday Igbo has said that, and then according to that, there's been a lot of rehashions on social media onto this for him saying that. See what some Nigerians are saying as I read. All right, and then according to public enemy at World Good Luck, replying to at Gazette NGR, Okay, he said that this one done the fear. Yoruba people fear too much. From the beginning, I knew it was initial gra gra. Don't blame anybody. Blame yourself. Nice maker. All right, that's what someone has replied Sunday Igbo on this one. All right, and then as it is, Labinjo at Olabinjolex has said that, well, laugh at that. I am sure you didn't read the story headlines. Don't tell stories. The are uh, point of uh, attractions. Okay, and then as it is, according to Grateful Art, replying to Art Gazette, NGR, it said, Nigga, the man is not afraid, he is wise. To jump into conclusion might be disastrous. Don't forget he is fighting for the right of the Yoruba land. If he has to do that, he must work on a straight path to achieve that. All right, and then also it has been replied that well, to me, burning down his house is just a plot by the government to make him take a wrong step and hold him responsible and handicap him. Learn to understand difference between fear and wisdom, bro. Okay, and then that has been said, and I mean why? According to what has also been gathered, replying to at Gazette NGR, they said that this one, then they fear Yoruba people. Okay, okay, that has been taken. All right, and then a lot of comments keep coming in. And then, according to Southeast General at Unyoma, replying to at Gazette NGR, it says Yoruba people are in a four, a rogue right. They must rise up or perish okay and that's what he has said so far and then at uh, bill's dial replying to at gazette ngr he says okay fine everyone read the headline first before you judge okay and then according to the headline the headline i said that after his house was set on fire here is what sunday Bo has said that got people talking and then what he has said so far had been that he did not blame anybody according to him he said i can't blame fulani for burning down my house sunday Igbo. but a lot of people don't even know what sunday Igbo is trying 
to insinuate or what he has in mind for saying that all right okay and a lot of people have been reacting in different manners onto this one okay and then as it is it has also been said by guess that hmm, blame me if you don't know who to blame okay and then according to b true c he live venus and he has said that imagine if fulani were there to fight the whole community is that how fulani would have slaughtered people in that community they like they said nothing will happen right you guys have to be at a lot to fulani are very very dangerous okay and then that has been said okay and the guest has also said that what do we expect from people who call themselves public enemy okay hmm a lot of comments keep coming in here and then according to mike obaru at obaru he has said that well aha nigerians are full of divert perspective someone is already scolding yorubas for being too fearful without knowing the man's angle perspective on the matter okay and then that's another one okay and then according to wumi ako hmm wumi ako in this place has said that well in a full interview he said he can't blame fulanis that came to burn his house but marvel at yoruba who took them there these guys is fearless if this guy is a fearless man perhaps you don't know him all right okay i think the whole thing has you no know, been revealed he said what he said so far according to what we have gathered here right now has been that he is not afraid of and he is not surprised he wouldn't blame them if not for our own people who showed them his house okay that is what he has meant all right according to the yorubas there's an adage we say all right i think i quite get that part right now all right and then according to adeya frank he has said that well hello which fear are you talking he who silent on a matter doesn't think he is a coward uh, hey, make no good thing come because he say no blame i they quiet and i can't say he don't hand like that i pity him all right and then according to isaac i did up underscore zero one he has said that well i would please advise the activists to make less noise or keep mute and observe things as it unfolds to know how to take the next step may god keep you safe all right amen and then i quite understand what this person i just said but the thing is a uh, sunday igbo is already doing that yes and uh, i am very sure that's what he's doing and as it says according to ade kunle ademeju underscore zero one he has said some people think awkwardly how do you expect him to start suspecting anyone without proper investigation all right and that's not an act of cowardice but wisdom all right i quite believe that that is just wisdom for you okay and then guess i said that please don't blame anybody the plan is from bad people in nigeria total them want to they want to make a donation for him so that they can buy with a lot of money so they will talk again okay hmm. all right a lot of things have been said and according to ife oluwa tonji i said that who will now blame this issue will go foul okay who are you now going to be to blame i think that's what she's trying to say here yeah. all right and then uh, according to funke akindele he said don't call that fear okun kio ruru kio kiawa ruru you wait and see okay i think it's time to say okay that is not fair that just watch and see what is going to happen afterwards okay hmm all right i pray that there won't be war in the country okay and then according to imolore biodon he has said that okay what do you mean yoruba people to the fear stop being sarcastic chief sunday Igbo was not in the environment at 3 a.m when the as soon as struck the and burnt down the property so you want him to begin to accuse the fulani or the government or culpability abby okay the chief is only being wise and sensible hmm and that is it okay hmm. it's a lot of wisdom that can make this to work all right and i guess i said that the house was burnt down by the same set of people that burnt down seriki fulani's resident 
he doesn't have to blame Fulani, but we be wise in dealing with delicate issues like this. Hmm. Okay, and then according to Abogunde Michael, a lot of comments anyway keep coming in. Abogunde Michael underscore 01 has said that the governor and his foot soldiers should be held responsible. Our rulers, our enemy. Hmm. Okay, and uh, this man has said that the government should be held responsible onto this one, that our ruler uh, our enemy well that has been taken so far my people on this one meanwhile let me have more take from you on, on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless